Good evening. Welcome to Tactical Talk with Mad Dog Armory. I am your host, Jillian, and your other host? I'm Shad. We practiced that. Yay! Yay! Um, so Shad and Jillian <laughs> with Mad Dog Armory. Um, I know my name. Yay! Yes. That, I mean, and it's, it's a so good day. Good. It is a good day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Appropriately done. Um, again, thanks for joining us on Tactical Talk. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very excited to be here. We are um, a streaming people. show and <laughs> we're people, <laughs> maybe <laughs> a little off today. Um, we are very excited to be here and bring you Tactical Talk. We are an industry related, firearm industry related um, show. So mm -hmm. we were very excited when We Beamed came to us and, and uh, wanted a gun oh, show yeah. with brains. Oh, I mean, it's yeah, like oh, yeah. hovering over me. Yeah. It's really Where's bad. Where's the lizard? I need to like slap it. There's like a, okay. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Um, we were very excited when We Beamed came to us. We're looking for um, the brains and the beauty. So I knew I had the, the brains part down. So brought Shad along and here we are. <laughs> Tactical talk. Um, so Shad and I are the owners, and by the way, we are on every Friday at, at, what time? at 6 p.m. Oh, from shit. 6 to 7, so please um, join us, like us, subscribe, go to our YouTube channel, uh, ring Facebook. Ring the bell. Ring the bell, set a reminder. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's, look. Yep, right on your screen. Oh, okay, what the hell are you talking about there? Right, I wow. know. I was just talking to Rob about Story that. Story of my life. <laughs> just talking to Rob yeah, about those, yeah. those little screenshots of each show. They're actually quite comical. Um, <laughs> so definitely check out our previous shows. Um, but follow us on social media. We would love for you to share our show. We yep. want to get the word out there. Um, that we've, we're censored a lot, and, um, and this allows us to share some industry right. news, new products. We do a lot of reviews and talk about cool shit. So. Yeah. And uh, thank you for communicating with us, because we've actually had a couple people reach out to us about mm -hmm. some gun show ideas. Yes. So we are getting them, mm -hmm. and we will be doing them. So I don't necessarily want to you know, give anything away on what some potential new shows or future shows are going to be, Ghost Guns. But, you know, <laughs> just kind of... Ghost Guns, yeah. What? What, what, what? <laughs> Go yeah. to? Yes, we will absolutely be doing that. So we do appreciate um, mm -hmm. information you can give us on some topics that you're interested in. Sure. Um, Tactical talk at mdarmory.com is the email. Yep. And um, it was just up on your screen. So feel free to email us or message us uh, during the show. Yep. We actually had somebody that you were messaging on the last mm -hmm. show. We don't always get to see it um, live, clearly. and Because um, we do tape this. Well, it's live taping, but... Kind of, yeah. It's There's no break. There's no, yeah. yeah. Clearly, we don't edit the thing. No, we don't edit. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need to, but we don't. Okay, um, so back on track. Our Second Amendment is under attack. And constantly. Constantly. Yep. So we do need your support. So please share, like, subscribe, all that yep. stuff, like I said. Okay. Um, so a little bit about Mad Dog Armory. Shad is wearing a Mad Dog Armory shirt as well. I'm so proud of him. Sometimes he doesn't. So um, Mad Dog Armory is a retail store and training uh, location that we have. We have two, actually, locations. Stores. Stores. Um, Mad Dog Armory uh, believes in your Second Amendment rights. We are uh, located in Largo, Florida, and Tampa Bay, uh, Tampa, South Florida. Tampa, Florida, mm -hmm. in the Tampa Bay area. So if you're watching us from not in the general area of Tampa Bay, um, that is where we're located. Yeah. And if you ever come down to visit, come by and say hi. Yes, absolutely. We're, mm -hmm. uh, the South Tampa location is pretty close to the uh, airport, the main airport, mm -hmm. Tampa. So, yep. and, um, and then yep. our other location is not far from the beaches. Yes. So when you come out to see our lovely beaches, yes, um, over in Indian Rocks, Indian Shores, Clearwater, mm -hmm. Madeira Beach, St. Pete Beach, all sorts, son of a beach, <laughs> all so sorts many, of beaches. There's so many beaches. <laughs> yeah, we really do have great beaches. Absolutely um, so we do live in paradise. So um, mm -hmm. definitely um, our Largo location is very close to the beach. You're yeah. correct. And then the South Tampa location is more like the, the city, downtown. Like the city. Yeah. I mean, you guys oh, call it a city, it's but <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's used to New York City. Yeah. So well, back in the day, New York City, right. not now New York City. I'm but in compared to New York City, yes, it's, it's correct. quite tiny. Yes, but it's yes. still fantastic. Great place to live. Great place to have a business. Um, Florida is the gunshine state, if you haven't heard that before. So we mm -hmm. are in the right place to do shows like this yep. and own our stores. So um, sure we appreciate your business. If you've been in our shops, definitely let us know how you liked it. 
um, and how you, of course, were treated because we treat everybody the same, whether you're a beginner to advanced. We're very right. passionate about education. Um, no matter your skill level, whatever yeah. you need, we are super um, passionate about education. Yes. Cool. Couldn't so, said it better myself. Thanks. Yeah. All right, so today's show, we did bring in... Um, and there is some training on your screen that we do, but we, you know, like I said, beginner to advance. All right, so today's show, show number 14, yeah. pretty awesome. Um, we're going to talk about these guys that are here on the table. So 1911s, uh, Browning High Powers, 2011. 2011. 2011s. 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then some carry guns that are very similar to the 1911 style. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure if they're specifically 1911s, but they're very similar in the way that they're made and the way right. that they function. Um, but they're in a compact version, so you can carry them. Yeah. Um, so we'll kind of talk about those a little bit and break those down for you. Um, I'm a big fan of the 1911. Um, you so, love you use some 45. Yes. So, so I wanted to kind of chat about that today. Um, We'll also have Shad's new seg segment, uh, New Shit with Shad. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have time for that. So that was fun last week. Yep. Um, and if there's something that uh, you viewers and listeners want to have Shad go over, something you've heard about that's coming up in, in the industry, sure. um, definitely, again, reach out to us. We're all about um, you know, keeping us interactive mm -hmm. with you guys. Um, I also wanted to mention that we're looking for a sponsor, potentially. Yeah. So if you own a business or you know somebody that owns a business that would like to sponsor us in that the industry. Yeah, that's related to our industry. Industry related. Yeah. There are a few companies that I'm talking to now, but um, as, you know, we kind of promote a lot of companies without <laughs> you know, them yeah. even knowing Fre about it. Freebies. So um, when you do share our posts and our, our videos, um, definitely tag those companies like Smith & Wesson and Dead Air. We do a yeah. lot of Dead Air stuff stuff for silencers. They're, they're happy with their stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. The Guardian, uh, American Guardians with the Smith & Wesson program. Sure um, we've talked about USCCA. I should mm -hmm. probably talk to Rob about coming on. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we're excited about that and we'd love to have somebody kind of, yeah. you know, sponsor us. So, yeah. um, if you know anybody that's interested in that, that'd be great. Um, all right, last week's show um, was really good yeah. and then as soon as I left... I lost my voice. Yes. <laughs> I had laryngitis for a week. So it's back, thank goodness. It was um, a week of bliss. Yeah, right? I know. I was like, I was. <laughs> 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 we went to a wedding on Saturday, and I was like, Whis I was whispering to everybody. Well, and I was getting so frustrated because I, I was trying to talk. As, if you couldn't tell, I like to talk. Yeah. And it was very difficult. So I'd whisper to him, like, tell them this. Right. And, and he wouldn't say it. And I'm like, Tell them it. And he's like, oh, now I have to be your ventriloquist that I have to, like, talk for you. And I'm like, yes, you have to tell them this. Right. It was, <laughs> it was it, really it was frustrating. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, in order for your voice to get better, you kind of had to... Rest it. Yeah, rest it a little bit. So, yeah. 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 But that was a great wedding, too. Um, mm -hmm. That was super fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, last week's show was about gun slang. So, that was kind of fun. Um, yeah initialism, synonyms, uh, different things that you might hear guns called or right. different things having to do with the gun industry that people say um, that you might not know what it means. Different right. initials, you know, we went over that different stuff. Yep. FMJ, ACP, different things that you might hear that you don't know. Right. The Picatinny rails and um, so we did that. So go Weaver back and rail, watch. Picatinny Weaver, rail, swim, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, so that show was, was super fun and very informative. So definitely go back to that. That was episode 13. Um, so they're available for you to rewatch yep. at any time whenever you're but ready. But we were, mm -hmm. we did run a little short. Mm -hmm. And there was we something did. that you wanted to talk about, I think. I think you wanted to talk about <laughs> my car, <laughs> my new car. Yes. Her, her I next definitely. New car, I think, right? Yes. Is that what it was? Well, yeah, I came across this car and I thought it was fantastic. So I was trying to get to it and we ran out of time last mm -hmm. week. Um, so I found my new car. Um, this is definitely what I want. So Rob, if you can put up a picture of... Oh, wow. There it is. Boom, baby. Wow. Oh, yeah. What the... There it is. is it's, <laughs> it's a Vespa 150 tap and it carries a recoilless rifle. I mean, wow. look at that baby. Okay. I mean, can't you picture me going down the street in that? <laughs> <laughs> What's the top speed of that thing? Like two? Let's see. <laughs> Taking down enemies have never been more fashionable with the immerse, emergence of this Vespa 150 tap. The Italian scooter was transformed into a military weapon. Wow. I don't think <laughs> I've wanted a Vespa more. Looks Holy can be crap. deceiving. Look at the spare tire. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it might be the greatest. Uh, and you got six thing. shots. Yeah. Okay. The scooter's heavy, it says. It's you a little think? heavy. <laughs> Jesus. So good thing my legs are strong because I'm going to have to hold that baby up. But I am down for that vehicle. I mean, I, I, I would go to work on that. I don't think there's rush hour the traffic gas mileage? for that. Oh, yeah. And rush hour traffic, <laughs> none. I mean, with gas prices the way they are, yeah. I mean, it would be fantastic. It'd be like parting of the Red Sea with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> See me coming down. <laughs> 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 I mean, real. it's really great. Yeah. And then just like it would relieve so much stress from me. Oh. Because when I come up behind somebody, you know, in the left lane. We've mm -hmm. talked about this before, drivers. Hello. Yeah. If I pass you on the right, lane. you're a moron. I yeah. shouldn't be passing you on the right. So if I come up behind somebody and they see that oh, in their yeah. rear view, maybe they'll move over. So would we have to get you like an air horn for that thing? So you oh, like really a truck, like a truck horn? <laughs> a train like horn. A train, a train horn. <laughs> <laughs> or a truck horn. You know, it's not, you know, anyway. But train for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, the truck horns are cool too. That like, Semis. you know, when you were driving. It's not really a truck. It's a semi. Okay. Same. Truck, semi, same thing. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for bringing that up because yeah. I wanted to touch on that because I thought it was so cool. And uh, I didn't know what it was, so yeah. that it was kind of news to me. So yeah, that's funny. I wanted to get that real yeah. reaction, so that was fun. Um, all right, cool. So um, also coming up, people all over the world are celebrating Special Forces Day or Arms Force Armed Forces Day, yes. um, and that's going to be on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow. Tomorrow, and um, so we want to just mention that because we are very excited about uh, celebrating our military. Yep. We have um, active military members of our family as well as retired and veterans and retired veterans. Yes. The colonel, retired yes. colonel. Yes. Oh, no, no. It's very, you can have a very easy 40 inch slip with retired. Mm. So, and I was just waiting to see if the 40 inch slip came out. No. No, it didn't. Right. Okay, so Armed and, Forces and then Day. we also have mm -hmm. not just the colonel, mm -hmm. but my brother as well. Sure. So he's retired as well. Yes. So, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but he wasn't a colonel. He was not a colonel, no. no. He was just a J. Yes, just a J. <laughs> he was Army? Army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have Army, Air Force, and Navy all in our immediate family. Immediate family. Mm -hmm. And then yes. I had several cousins that were Marines. So yeah. Brad and Bart. Yes. Both Marines. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yep. So um, thank you for your service. We celebrate you um, every yep. day, but especially on Saturday. I know mm -hmm. our stores are having a pretty big sale going on. Mm -hmm. um, it's like 15% off everything in the stores or something like that. I don't know. I, I probably something should like have that. read it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but the email went out. If you're part I, of our, what? The email went out. The email so went out. We did send out an email. Yeah. So. Um, and if you're not part of our, you know, you haven't subscribed on our website, definitely mm -hmm. visit mdarmory.com. Yep. Click the subscribe button. Um, is it subscribe or, or get the newsletter? newsletter. Yeah. So sign up mm -hmm. for the newsletter. Yep. Um, and what that does is it puts you in our pool of people that we send those specials our, out to. Our email list. So we'll send stuff out to you. We yeah. do not sell the list. It does no. not go to anybody other than no, us. No, we are very so. much against selling the list. We don't right. spam you. I get, um, I sign up for a competitor emails mm -hmm. just to kind of see what's going on um, as a business owner and seeing yeah. what's going on with other, other people. And there's one store that literally emails every single day, sometimes yeah. twice a day. Wow. And I haven't unsubscribed like Matt. I was talking to one of our employees uh, mm -hmm. about it. And he said, I unsubscribed. I can't take it. And I'm like, a lot of people are going to do that. You don't yeah. want to be spammed by people. So we don't do that. So definitely It's trying to find a happy up. medium, though, right? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, how much is too much and yeah. how little is too little? Right. Because ultimately, we are still a business. We are trying sure. to get some information out there. So it could be kind of tough of trying to find that happy medium. Yeah, we have to stay stuff. relevant, Correct. but we don't want to spam people. Exactly. So, um, so yeah. So we're working with, we have somebody specifically that works for us mm -hmm. that, um, um you know, handles all that. So we've had a few conversation about diff different things to do. And yeah. um, he just posted something. If you don't follow us on social media, definitely do that as well on Facebook yesterday about our Magpul display. Because yeah. um, mm -hmm. we recently had so, our Magpul rep come out and he kind of reworked our area mm -hmm. of Magpul. And it, it looks pretty phenomenal yeah. just That's with really the good. signage and just the way he placed the products and things like that. Yep. So um, so we have a really great selection of Magpul products in yep. both store uh, stores. And he posted that. Um, so that was pretty cool. So yep. try to keep things, you know, uh, you know, informative, but not overbearing. So, right. cool. All right, so back to the show. To the show. So, Armed Forces Day um, was created in 1949 by Harry Truman. Hmm. Fun fact. I did not know that. Yes. Good old so, Harry. Good old Harry. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So, let's get to guns. Ooh. Ready? Okay. Oh, all right, yeah. let's do it.
All right, so the guns that we brought with us today mm -hmm. are a little bit of a variety here, but mostly 1911s or 1911 right. style. Um, so we brought um, the 1911 Colt Commander, mm -hmm. um, and now Commander has to do with the length of the barrel, correct? So technically that's not a Commander. Okay. So that is a government. So, okay. And they, it literally says Commander on the slide. It's a five-inch <laughs> barrel. Okay. So four and a quarter inch. Okay. Four and a quarter inch is going to be your commander size. Your three inch is going to three and a half inch is going to be your officer size, mm -hmm. and then your government is five inch. Okay. And so it lied. That is a. Five so Colt inch. actually lied on inch. the gun. Yes. Um, okay. So yeah. So Colt is the classic 1911, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so we definitely wanted to bring one of those right. today. So the mm -hmm. 1911 was actually designed by Browning. Yes. So, but he designed it for Colt. Correct. John so, Browning. John Browning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good old John. Hey, Johnny he, boy. He, he made mm -hmm. everybody equal, for sure. I mean, he has the Browning High Power, which is another gun that we're going to talk about here in a, in a few minutes. Okay. But, um, yeah, the 1911. So, it was originally created when? 1911. Wait, what? Yes, in the year 1911. Yeah. That's where it got its name. Mm -hmm. um, the government was looking for a reliable man stopper to replace the wimpy 38 caliber pistols that were in service. I'm assuming gotcha. revolvers. Yes. 38 caliber mm -hmm. would be a revolver. Yep. So uh, it looks like they were carrying revolvers back in the day, Revolver. right? 19, 1911. <laughs> in the year 1911, Correct. they were carrying revolvers, which has limited capacity. Yeah. Um, and, and, and again, stopping um, power. They stopping were looking power. for something a little bigger. Yeah, and obviously Man the, stopper. the 45 ACP was created at that point as well. Mm -hmm. um, automatic Colt pistol. ACP. Cartridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, which I think we hit on last week. Right? Yes. Yep. yep. Um, but anyway, so it was created in 1911. Um, it, it was used a little bit in World War I, right? Not as much, mm -hmm. just for the fact that it was relatively new during that time period. Yes. Um, but it really, really was used a lot in World War II. So yes. A, a lot more so than, uh, than World War I. And the, the 1911 is usually a single stack, yep. at least from what I knew. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we just, when we were doing research, we just learned that there are a couple, of, well, we didn't just learn, we kind of right. knew it, but there's some double stacks right. available. But the classic 1911 is going to be a single, single stack, stack, seven, eight rounds, nine, seven, eight, nine. So it depends, depends on what it's chambered in. Gotcha. So, um, okay. but yeah, so it, it's classic styling is 45 ACP, it's single stack. It is a single action only gun. Mm -hmm. So we'll hit on that real quick, I guess. Yes, let's on. talk about that single action, double action. That's something that you hear right. a lot. Yeah. Um, and many people might not know what that is and why it's a single action, double action, or um, it could be both. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It can do both. Yeah. So, um, so you'll so hear the term DASA, which is mm -hmm. double action, single action. Mm -hmm. You'll hear single action only. Yep. So, and in this instance, it's single action only, and what that means is in this particular instance, we have the gun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just verify clear. So, right now, hammer's back, and let's see if I can do this a little backwards. So, in this particular instance, hammer is down. I can't pull the trigger. It just flat out doesn't allow me to do hammer's that. Hammer's up. Sorry, thank you. Yep. Hammer's up. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't pull the trigger. So, Correct. because a single action, the only thing the trigger does is releases the hammer. Right. So the hammer has to be back in order for the gun to go off. Right. On a semi-automatic, it makes it very simple because you need to load it. So in order to load it, you, you have to, to pull the it. slide back. Mm -hmm. So in doing so, it pulls the hammer back. Right. Now, with this particular style gun, what they did is they included what they call a backstrap safety or a beaver tail safety. Mm -hmm. um, and this little area needs to be engaged in order to be able to pull the, pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. We also have a active safety. The manual safety. Mm -hmm. The manual safety. Mm -hmm. So on some, it'll be on both sides. So on this one, it's Ambidextrous. On. Yep. Exactly. So this is what we call cocked and locked. And this <laughs> 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 giggles every time. Oh, they nailed it. So in the cocked and locked position, um, you're, this is how you're supposed to carry the gun. One in the chamber, it's ready to go. So ultimately, you pull the gun out, safety off, pull trigger, go bang. Right. So um, right now, safety off. If I try to pull the trigger, I can't because ultimately I don't have the Backstrap engagement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So ultimately I'm able to engage it. We did verify this was clear. Mm -hmm. 
bang, yep. boom. Yes. So single action only. Yes. There you so, go. Double action, real quick, just means that you can pull the trigger back and it's going to pull the hammer back. It does two things, hence double action. It pulls it back and releases it. Correct. Are any of these... Double actions, no. Okay. Um, and 1911s are usually... They're all single they're action all, only. They're all single action. Okay, yep. cool. Then you get into stuff that looks similar, like uh, SIG makes the SIG uh, P226, 220, 229, mm -hmm. which are uh, kind of based off of this to right. a certain extent. Um, but they do double action and single action. They have both variants of the guns. But gotcha. Nonetheless. But 1911s, but 1911s. your Browning High Powers and your uh, small compact guys are all going to be single action only. Correct. Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. So there are a lot of integrated safeties and different yes. mechanisms that they made to keep it safe with the backstrap safety, with the external safety. There's a lot of things Correct. that um, that help out, I guess, yeah. with keeping it safe. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right, so the, the original co Colt. 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 The original Colt <laughs> 1911 mm -hmm. is the, the original. Um, then we have this guy. Should we go to this guy next sure. or that guy? Whichever one you want to do. Okay, how about this? Kimber. Kimba. Kimber 1911. So this is another mm -hmm. great one. Um, mm -hmm. And by the way, I didn't go over the pricing, but in looking, doing some research, 1911s vary from 400 huge. to 4,000, and more. maybe even higher. Yeah, huge. Yeah, 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 and, huge and of course, it could be less because, right. you know, you got to use crappy one or something, but yeah. and it could also be more with what, depending on what features it has or whatever, right. but typically between 400 and 4,000. So there's a huge range yep. and a huge scope of pricing. Um, Manufacturer, having, caliber, all that kind of good the stuff. The year, yeah. you know, the yeah. shape it's in, you know, all that stuff, but right? I'll tell you what, so Jesse James, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm talking about? Sure. Like motorcycle dude. Mm -hmm. Hope you're watching Jesse. If not, send this to him so you can watch it. <laughs> um, he makes phenomenal 1911s. So hmm. he is a, a manufacturer. He's a gun manufacturer yeah. out in Texas. I didn't know and that. And he makes some <laughs> really cool shit. Huh. I I'll mean, check that out. One offs. They're all one offs. They're all handmade by him. Hmm. So it is. That's very cool. I couldn't even imagine what the prices on those things, but yeah. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll have to get you one for something. <laughs> uh, I think uh, we have something coming up, don't we? Anniversary. Oh. Mm hmm. Saturday. Tomorrow? Sunday. 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 Just kidding. Sunday, fun day. Okay. Back to the show. Back to the show. Um, so, Kimber. Yep. Good name. Yep. High end. Yeah name, mm -hmm. um, kind of known for 1911s? Yeah, yeah, they, they started doing 1911s and, and really got into custom 1911s is how they started. They mm -hmm. were a custom shop um, and were really making a, a, really, a lot of nice guns. Not to say they don't make nice guns anymore, yeah. but now they're more into higher production stuff, so they still have some custom stuff that they do, Yeah. Um, but they're more of a high production company now. High so, end? Not high, high production? end, high production, meaning okay. they bang them out. So oh. it's kind of like, your so they're Smith readily available. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Hmm. Um, and in doing so, I find personally, this is just my own opinion, um, that their quality has kind of dropped a little bit because yeah. of that. Because so I know that back, you know, in the day, um, they yeah, were they guns, were very so sought fitted. after. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's and what I'm saying. End. So now they do high production runs, and uh, it's just kind of like, yeah. like eh, eh. Oh, now their finishes and stuff like that. You know, Still you look very at them nice. and they're very nice. Yeah, I like the wood furniture on the grip. Um, so they, they usually, and they have some black integrated, which there I really like. I think that's um, one of the rapids. We actually have that in the shop right now. We have a, a nine millimeter and a 45 ACP variant mm -hmm. of that particular version of the rapid. I haven't seen rapid. that in the shop. So yes. that's very cool looking. Yes. So again, they, they do have some really nice looking stuff and not to say they don't perform. So don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I'm not saying that they're bad guns, Right. but, um, they're not as good as they once were because not every gun is being worked on by a person. Right. Whereas their custom stuff was. Gotcha. So it's still really good guns. So. Yes, Kimber is still a very good name, mm -hmm. um, and I enjoy shooting this. It's very accurate. I like it a lot. Yeah. And it's the thing about 1911s, um, they're heavy. Yep. Which uh, helps on absorbing recoil. Helps which, with recoil, mm -hmm. um, but not the greatest carry gun. Correct, because of that weight. And because size. of the weight and the lack of capacity. Correct, single stack. Yeah. Yep. If it's a single stack. Yep. So Kimber is very nice. You can also see the beaver tail here, yep. um, the safety, the external safety. There's the hammer. Yep. Um, so, and, and a lot mm -hmm. of times you'll see some of these and all of the ones that we have here all have skeletonized, which means that, again, the trigger. Kind of clear, we got mm -hmm. stuff taken out of the trigger and of the hammer. So on your 
government models, the hammer is going to be solid, the trigger is going to be solid. It's just one of those things. It adds more weight to it, mm -hmm. um, and this just kind of adds a little, takes a little weight off, and kind of gives a little design flair, so it yeah. makes it a little nicer looking. So removing um, any kind of um, weight mm -hmm. helps out, right? Helps out mm -hmm. in in one way and not necessarily in another because ultimately that weight absorbs recoil. Sure. Ultimately you're taking off, you know, fractions of ounces, but yeah. nonetheless, yeah, that every little bit out. helps. Every oh little bit helps. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so we got this guy, this guy, is that a 1911? This is. This okay. Is, is that the Ruger. Springfield? Okay. No, this is a Ruger. Oh, that's a Ruger. That, I think that yep. was one of my first. This is. This, this is one of my first. My yep. first. Yes. Yep. She put this in her hand. She's like, oh my God, I love this. I want this. Yeah. So this Ruger home. was very that's nice. Right. Um, and as you can see, when you pull the slide back, the hammer goes back and yep. that, there you go. Yep. Um, so I'm going to release it. And um, so the Ruger is really nice. Actually, this one has upgraded grips. grips. So you yep. can change the grips out with these yep. two screws on each side um, and you can change them out. So these are Hogue. These are rubber. Correct. Um, so it gives, you, gives you a little bit of more of a grip. It a helps little, a little with fatter. a little fatter, a little thicker. Yep. Um, Whereas you can also change them out to look like the others that have wood and different colors. Right. Like, um, and that's why, again, when we talked about collections, like mm -hmm. we talked about different collections um, in a previous show, I like the difference in like my three 1911s that are sitting right here mm -hmm. all have different grips. So one has like a grip that's like a cherry four, four wood. 1911s. Four 1911s. EMP too. Oh, okay. Um, the Kimber has nice wood grips. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Wiley Clap. Colt has like really cool, I don't even know what color it is. It's like almost like a gray wood. Yeah. Yep. It's like gray wood. Mm -hmm. And then this one has the black rubber um, hoe grips. So just different features that I like about each one of them. Um, and but they all pretty much function so the same. customizable, it's not even funny. So no. you have all sorts of options that you can do. So a 1911 is so, the style gun, but there are different barrels you can get. You can get different sides. You can get slides you can do cuts you can i mean it's just it's customizable extremely more than customizable. other guns like like yeah. say glock well not necessarily glock because okay. i mean glock um was meant to be custom but uh, the 1911 is just kind of uh progressed into that gotcha lots of competition shooters yes used it i time. did read about that mm -hmm. so it, it's just been one of those guns that over time from its conception has really morphed mm -hmm. um and they're very 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 accurate guns yeah. so and you can really tune these things like to know tomorrow yeah um, but it's almost like uh high-end cars and stuff like that in doing so they may not be as reliable because if you have any little Anything little wrong with it, it you know, it may not function properly. Yeah. I mean, that's with you, any gun, if really. If you high tune it. Yeah. So. I mean, that's that's with any gun, really. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So um, then we'll get into these little guys. So the carry guns. Mm -hmm. um, so these guys. So this one is this is an oldie that we've had for a while, and I say oldie, but they've been making this for a while. Are they mm -hmm. making these again? Um, yeah, they're still making the 938. So this is Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer 938, P9 nine millimeter. Mm -hmm. That's right. This particular gun, this is the Scorpion version of the gun. Mm -hmm. um, they don't make this particular version, I think, currently. But, right. Um, and the Scorpion is kind of like the FDE, FDE and yeah. you know that kind of look. Yeah. Um, to we it. put a hoe grip on that. So okay. this again, this is one of our personal guns. Hoe grip on it. Mm -hmm. um, it did come with a threaded barrel. We have the threaded barrel off of it right now, um, but. Yeah, extended magazine, so it's a seven-round magazine. Mm -hmm. It does not have the backstrap safety. So that, is, what's yes. shown up there right now is That's the, the, Legion. the Legion. We brought that one, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it does not have a backstrap safety. Correct. So that's one of the things. While it, it, it looks like a 1911 in every other aspect, mm -hmm. just a really small 1911, yep. um, it doesn't have the backstrap safety. Right. So... Exactly. Um, but it does have the external safety, and it's also ambidextrous. Correct. Um, and yep. it is that single action. Yep. You have to yep. pull same this style back. Same trigger as mm -hmm. well. Um, yep. Trigger mechanism and all that kind of stuff is the same. So it's, it's very, very, very similar. Yep. Six um, rounds of nine. Yep. Um, plus one, potentially. Yep. Um, so very cool gun. Very accurate. Yes. I love to shoot these guns. They're super accurate. And these are great for concealed carry because, again, we're a concealed yep. carry state. So trying to find something that shoots well, that you like, right. um, that's concealable in the state of Florida, yeah. you have to try different guns and see what you like. I really enjoy these because they are compact, they are concealable, and they shoot really well, and they're accurate. That was our carry gun. Mm -hmm. So both of these guys were our carry guns yeah. for quite some time. Well, let's um, check this guy out, too. the SIG P365 came out, and then we got that I still carry these. gun. I still carry this Legion. Yeah. Um, 
So, but yes, I know what you're talking capacity about. Capacity-wise, capacity wise, seven rounds to 10, 12 right. rounds. And but as a person that carries every single day, yeah. the capacity also weighs it Adds down. So my SIG 365, while I love it, you know, 13 and 15 rounds of nine millimeter really does make it really heavy. Right. Um, so it really weighs it down. Sure. So again, the trade-off between capacity and weight and all those things do have a factor Absolutely. in what you carry and when you carry it. But, yep. you know, we're just, we're blessed enough to have like all these different options because of owning right. Mad Dog that I'm able to like kind of try different things and see what I like. And right. one day I'll carry this and one day I carry, you know, something else. So your Ruger Max. Right. LCP Max. Yes. yes. I don't have a Max yet. <gasps> I thought you did. I want one. Oh, wow. I have the I LCP2. Yes. Mm -mm. Mm. I still have the LCP2. That's, mm. that's an mm -hmm. everyday carry of mine. Um, all right. So the Legion. So this is also Sig Sauer. Right. Um, and it's considered the Legion. It's the name. You know, it's, it's their the Legion series. series. Correct. Um, that's their highest end trim package they do on any of their What makes it so series. special? Like, what's the difference between this guy, other than the, the rounds, right? It's because this is a P238. The other one, correct, is yeah. a P938. So that one's a 9 millimeter. This is a 380 correct. ACP, yep. 380 ACP. Yep. Um, I can definitely tell that the grip is much thinner. Mm -hmm. um, and I know we changed the grips out on that. Mm -hmm. but, um, they but do these make a hoe grip for that as well if you want to put a hoe grip okay. on it. Um, but this just has the regular grip modules on it. Okay. This particular guy has a little bit more of a flared magwell. Okay. I'm going to let you hold so, it. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. has a little bit more of a flared magwell here. Um, the extension, the magazines themselves are going to be a little bit different than, than the other, the normal 238s. It um, does have a ex pinky extension on it. Again, flared magwell. Um, the finish on it is different. It's their Legion coating they put onto it. This particular guy also has their SIG night sights. So it's tritium blacked out rear and then a green tritium front sight. Um, and then internal components are also coated um, with some other uh, coatings in order to help protect the internal components. Gotcha. So cool. Trigger's a little bit different as well um, than your normal models um, and a little bit nicer trigger. So it does have a trigger job coming directly from the factory. So. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I enjoy shooting that very much. Yep. The uh, the 380 is very nice. That's the one. I don't have a 938 in the Legion. Um, I have the 238, which right. is a 380. Right. Um, so I like both of those. They shoot really well. They yep. do have a little bit of weight to them, which is nice for recoil, but yeah. it's also not too much like these guys that are really heavy. Um, so great options for concealed for carry. Concealed carry. Absolutely. Um, I granted, I understand that the Hellcats and the 365s are very popular right now because yeah. of capacity, but as I said earlier, you know, there's a weight thing that's involved yeah. in that too. And there's some, you can find some ammunition, mm -hmm. uh, was it the Civil Liberty? Um, the Silver Liberty. <laughs> Whatever. It's silver, yeah. they're silver, yeah. I know that. Yeah, the Liberty rounds, they're lighter. And the RIP rounds, you can find some other rounds that may be grain weight wise or a little bit lighter, which is also going to help lighten up you know, that weight I as have well. Them. So, mm -hmm. They're still heavy. Yes. They, I get it. they weigh them down. Sure. They weigh it down. Um, and again, it just depends on what you're wearing when you're carrying, um, right. just kind of how it's pulling on your clothes or what, what's going on. Sure. So again, weight does matter when you're concealed carrying. So, Absolutely. or when you're carrying in general. Yeah. Um, if constitutional carry passes and there's something that is, is being talked about in Florida, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, open carry would make it a lot easier for people Absolutely. because then it doesn't matter because you can have your outside the right. waistband holster and, and stuff like that. So I do like open carrying. Yeah. I do like open carrying a yeah. lot. It makes it um, so much easier. And it's more comfortable. Right. You don't and have I mean, to worry honestly, about. You can do that and still pull your shirt over it and you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about like actually making sure nobody knows it's a gun. It's right. like, it, it can still kind of be hidden a little bit. But yeah. It's not as big of a deal. So anyway. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like open carry, and, and that's definitely something that people go back and forth with, you know, like, oh, I don't want to be in the store, and my kids see, you know, you with a gun on your hip, and I'm like, you know. Just know I'm going to protect you if something happens. Yeah. It's kind of like the lady at the wedding, to be quite honest. There was a couple that we were hanging mm -hmm. out with, and uh, the lady said, you know, my husband carries, I, I, you know, he doesn't, you know, I don't want to, I'm afraid, whatever. And she said, I'm really scared when he carries. I don't like it. I get really nervous. I'm really scared. And I'm like, why are you scared when he carries? Is he experienced? And she's like, yeah, he, he's experienced. I'm not. And I'm like, okay, so if he's experienced with his gun and he's carrying, it's the opposite of what you should be feeling. Right. You should feel really safe being around somebody that has your back. God forbid something, some lunatic comes in, mm -hmm. like God forbid, 
what Buffalo. happened in Buffalo, right? right? You're just shopping at a store and some lunatic comes in that you have that person that is carrying, yep. you know, a responsibly armed citizen that is carrying their own firearm that is trained and can defend you yep. and other people. Um, and so, you know, she was like, huh. That's interesting. She never thought of it that way because she's afraid of guns right. and she's not trained and she doesn't feel comfortable, which is fine. Yep. You know, it's not for everybody. Um, but instead of fearing it, right. you know, and being afraid that he's carrying, you know, be confident that as long as he's trained, he's the one that's yep. protecting you. And that's a really good thing to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Agreed. Yeah. Yep. So cool. And he was prior military. So he had been yeah. around him, but he had been yeah. around guns his whole life. So, I mean, okay. it's one of those things. He, his father... We had, him and I had a good I'm conversation. I'm sure you as did because well. I couldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> we had a really good conversation, and, and ultimately, his father really instilled a lot of uh, gun safety into him at a young age just for the fact of that time period. So he, sure. they're considerably older than us. Mm -hmm. uh, I shouldn't say considerably, wow. but they're a little bit older. I than hope us. they're not watching. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, a little bit older than us. But, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's, you know, back in the day that, that everybody learned about that kind of stuff, and it's not so much now. Yeah, there was like gun stuff in schools, yeah. like rifle class in school. I know Absolutely. my mom told me she had to Shooting shoot club. a rifle. Yeah. yeah, she had to shoot Shooting a rifle. Shooting in high school yeah. and stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Not so much anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I think there are still some schools that actually do it, believe it or not. I, I, I hope I, so. I think they should, Absolutely. honestly. But, um, but yeah, so moving on. Yep. Um, so we so got one more of... The so, 1911s? Yep, that's okay. your 1911. So, so this guy is, I think, the newest guy. I don't think that I've is. shot this yet. I don't think you have either. Okay. So this is going to be the newest guy. That's also a 9mm. Springfield Armory. Springfield Ar Armory EMP. Okay. Uh, and this, they call the Fastback. And that is from this little oh, oh yeah, like right indent. There. So this little area right here, the fastback. Oh. So. So what does that do? So it cuts down on you know if, if you think about when you're carrying it. So this is one of those areas that sticks out a little bit further. Ah. So then they kind of curve so that in off the holster. in order to kind of help in printing a little bit Sweet. less. Sweet. Okay. So, but it is nine millimeter, phenomenal little gun. Um, again, she hasn't shot it yet, nope. but it's a great, great, great little gun, and I can't wait for her to shoot it. Mm -hmm. um, is this like but, carbon fiber? It looks like carbon fiber. Um, it's G10, okay. so the grips are G10. Um, it, it's just the check ring on it kind of makes it look like that, but okay. it's not necessarily carbon fiber. Um, gotcha. But phenomenal. Springfield Army makes a great 1911, Yeah. so really, really nice. I can't wait to so, shoot it. I yes. have not done it yet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. And I like, I actually never noticed that little, um, mm -hmm. what is it called? Fastback. Fastback portion mm -hmm. of it. So that's pretty cool. And, and a lot of manufacturers do that. So it's not like it's just to Springfield Armory. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's several of them that do it. Um, yeah. Because that's actually very accurate when I'm yeah. carrying and that's definitely an issue when it it's sticking sticks out. out a little it bit sticks further. out a little so, bit. So yeah. Fastback helps on kind of keeping that down a little bit. Yeah. I like that a lot. And that's with very it being nice. a nine millimeter, the grip isn't as big as well. So, Correct. you know, some of the times for some of the female shooters, it's nice because it's not as big as the mm -hmm. 45. So not necessarily me. Correct. Because of my hand She's size. She's got little man hands. Oh, now say three nice things. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So those are the 1911s and then mm -hmm. we did the carry guns. So then yep. we brought two other ones that are yep. um, in the family, in the general family of 1911s, yep. but they're not 1911s. Um, one of them being Let's the, okay. So the Browning. High and, power? And, and, right. Browning and why high I power. I start with that, guys, because Browning designed so both good. guns. Oh. oh, my gosh. So he just did, there was some My big man hands feel so good in the... <laughs> I said little man hands, not big mm -hmm. man hands, by the way. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so when he designed this... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Magazine safety. Oh, hey. Magazine Lion safety. King. Yep. Is that what that is right here? Uh, no, usually it's going to be... It'll be inside the gun, but it has okay. to do with actual magazine. So I just um, noticed this thing right here. Yep. So that is just for the spring, spring okay. tension. Cool. So, so the Browning High Power yep. um, does not have a grip safety. Correct. And the 1911 does. Correct. Okay. It's also uh, lighter yep. and has better recoil management from what this says. Correct. Um, typically, the 2011 is... Oh, no, that's not the 2011. The... Yep, this is not the 2011. Okay, I'm reading the wrong one. Yep. So, Never mind. It doesn't have a grip safety as the 1911 does. Right. Yeah. So, again, barrel length, stuff like that, uh, very similar. Um, again, Browning made both of these. So, this is a double stack. Okay. Whereas yeah. the 1911 was not a double stack. I so could the, feel it in the grip. It's very chunky. So the grip is a little bit fatter. Mm -hmm. um, but he did do a lot of other things very similarly. 
Um, trigger wise, he does have a different trigger. So the trigger is actually run from the top as opposed to run through the, the grip. Mm -hmm. So um, minor differences, and I'm sure he had reasons for doing what he did. You know, he's not alive, so I can ask him why he did them. Um, <laughs> but, but nonetheless, still a very accurate, accurate gun. Again, nine millimeter as opposed to 45. Mm -hmm. Does um, it come in 45? It does not. Okay. So not to my knowledge anyway, okay. let's put it that way. Yeah. Now there might be newer variants, but originally when it was created, it was a nine millimeter. Um, and again, that was a 45, but mm -hmm. in the 1911s now, you can find it in 45, mm -hmm. 10 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 380, 357, 357 mag. Magnum. 10 mil. So, and yeah, I think I said mm -hmm. 10 mil. Anyway, oh. but 357 Magnum, one manufacturer does that, Kunin, which mm -hmm. is, it's really kind of, it's a cool aspect. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered a couple yes. for, for during the pandemic, a I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it took a while to get some of the stuff because they were a having while, some issues. A yeah, while. It no. took a, like mu like six months or it, something it, it stupid. Yeah. So their manufacturing times the were ridiculous. Right. We ordered one for the shop mm -hmm. as well when I was ordering it. Yeah. And I ended up canceling the order because it was just taking so yeah, long. Yeah. We ordered two and we only got one, and it took that long. Right. And the customer and was not happy. And when I got it, yeah. When I got his in, I was like, "This is worth the wait." It. Oh, you weren't oh, impressed. I was not impressed oh, at all. Yeah. Sorry, Conan. Yeah. But. Uh, just it, it it wasn't anything special other than mm -hmm. the fact there's a 357 magnet right it's the chambering so that right. that was the only but other than that everything seemed very 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 simple mm -hmm. it was there was no uh, again i put in my hand you weren't like, like wow no, yeah yeah because like some, some of these you guns, put in your hand you're like wow oh, this i was just good. gonna say that yeah you know it's I mean? true tolerances blah 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 whatever yeah. you can um, just tell so. and that's why we tell people to come into the shop when you're trying to find the right gun for you you know yeah. come into the shop no matter you know you gotta put them in your hands you gotta put them in your hands because you yeah. know you'll know when yeah. you you know like, i know and it's that's like, why a lot of these that we pick up we really like yeah that's why we own them yep. <laughs> because we really like the way they feel in our hands and it doesn't take long no. i mean you know before you're like i don't know if i like it or not and now we have enough knowledge and we've dealt with it so much that when you go to you know there's a couple things you put in your hand you do yeah. a rack on it you're like wow this is right yeah it's like butter it's like butter yeah um, so back to the Browning high yes, power. Yes, the Browning high power. <laughs> so it's named after Browning, who started well, in the 1911s. Is that correct? Well, Browning was a manufacturer. Okay. So, he's a dude, but he's also a manufacturer. Yep. And, and the Browning high power was kind of his thing that he did under the Browning uh, label, as okay. opposed to designing a gun for Colt. Gotcha. So, okay. yep. Cool. Thank yeah, you. that's a very cool gun. Very good grip. I love having that in my hand. It feels yep. really, really good. Um, the look of it, the feel of it. It is chunky. Again, it's not really the greatest concealed carry gun, only Correct. due to the fact of the size, um, the thickness of the grip, and yep. you know. But again, it's probably very accurate. This is another one I have not shot. Correct. I really need to get to the range more. Well, that, I am at the range all the time. I'm just not the one shooting. Yep. But um, that's but the more length of, a of the barrel. Piece when we got it because it, yeah. it really it's in really 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 good condition. It hasn't been shot much. Okay. And it's a little older gun. Oh. So it's one of those. So it's more collector. Yeah. Got it. Anything else? Okay, cool. Yeah. Very nice. I like yep. the Browning High Power. It's very cool yep. looking. Um, and then the last one we're going to go over is the 2011. The, the 2011, I want to say, yep. two, I don't know. It just sounds weird saying 2011 for me because I, it's so comes off the tongue very easily, the 1911. But right. this just sounds wrong, like saying 2011 to me. I don't yep. know why. But this is the 2011, or it, it is, what's the brand? Uh, Pantera. Pantera. The SPS. Yes. So the Pantera 2011. It's mm -hmm. a nine millimeter. Yep. And this is the modular framed 1911 that is light and has Correct. better recoil management. Yep. Typically, it is known to be smoother and a better shot than the 1911. Yep. Um, typically allows you to change the whole grip, whereas the 1911 only allows you to change the grip panels. Correct. So you can take that whole grip off and change it, yep. whereas the 1911 are just the panels, like we talked about with those two yep. screws on each side. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit about this guy. That's definitely a double stack. So it <laughs> is a double stack 9mm. Yep. Okay. So, and the action on it is just, it's so yep. smooth, it's not even funny. Yeah. Um, and it's lighter uh, than a 1911, a yeah. little bit? Not really? Yeah. Okay. I, I, if we put it on a scale, I'm sure it would be. I okay. mean, in feeling it, not necessarily. Um, but barrel wise, this has a bull barrel on it. And what that means is there's a little bit more meat on it and that allows it to get a little hotter and not lose accuracy. Hmm. Um, so with that bull barrel adds a little bit more weight as well. So, um, but this is uh, a nice little competition gun. This particular one has an adjustable sight, rear sight, 
fiber optic front sight, um, again, back strap safety and ambidextrous um, manual safety. And it does have the skeletonized trigger and I see a little screw in here, so it does have an adjustable trigger on it as well. Okay. Which I didn't realize that until I was just looking at it right now. There you go. So the trigger pull on this thing, it can get down to next to nothing as far as like it doesn't take much for that thing to go off at all. Hmm. Um, Very nice. But yeah. It has the flared magwell. It does. Mm -hmm. So this is more of a competition gun. Okay. Um, for sure. How many um, rounds does this carry? Do you know? Off no. the top of my head, I don't. Okay. I'm so, just curious. Sometimes 18. it's stamped, but it, it's pretty thick magazine, so I was thinking it's probably 18, 18, or, 18 or so. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's a pretty nice gun, the 2011. Yep. <laughs> um, it has that beaver tail back strap yep. Yep. as well. Several manufacturers out there doing the 2011s. Uh, John Wick movie. Oh, that's right. Made this very uh, he used household it. name. Yep. yep. Terran Tactical does some 2011s. Uh, I'm having a brain fart on one of the other manufacturers that does really, really nice 2011s. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, the Pantera. Is it an Italian? I don't know why I'm thinking a Pantera is like Italian. Is it made? Mm -hmm. Is it Italian? It is Italian. Okay, yep. I was and thinking that. I, I didn't check, but there yeah. was a old car manufacturer, Pantera. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the same company or not. Who knows? Because stranger things have happened. Uh, maybe that's where I'm. I'm it sounds yes. familiar to me. Car. A Pantera. Car okay, yes. so Italian car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure enough. Cool. Yeah. Kind of like my Vespa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, the Vespa's way fucking cooler. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, my yeah. Vespa. I can't it's wait. Like I've never wanted a Vespa more in my life. Right. Right. I mean, no, I can't. I can't handle it. Yeah. It's so but amazing. It has, that's the only Vespa I'd be driving. Right. This, yeah. That's on, the only one. Yeah, absolutely. Is, there are no others. That's correct. For sure. So we're going to have to mock one of those up, I guess. I mean, we really do have to. <laughs> Good thing, like, our Largo store is in with a scooter store, <laughs> like, right. in, the, in the shopping center. Yeah. So we're going to have to talk to them. Hey, Michelle, if that's you got right. a Vespa that we can do a few modifications. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to. We need, can we manufacture this? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it would be great on it, like a, a Lewis 1914. Oh, Lewis machine gun? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That is a very cool gun. Yep. Um, but what was on that? I didn't even look and see There's what... It's a recordless rifle. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yep. All right. Cool. Um, all right. So, yeah. I mean, those are the ones that we brought today. The mm -hmm. 1911, the 2011, and the Browning High Power. And then also, of course, the, the concealed carry guns. Um, the yep. 938, the P938, the P238. The um, Kimber, Kimber makes a lot of these. Yep. The, the Micro 9s. Yes. And then their Micro 380s. Mm -hmm. Um, Springfield Armory makes the 911. Yeah. Smith and Wesson makes the new E shit. Smith and Wesson, I don't, I don't yeah, know. They, they, they make one they that looks like nine, this. They have a nine. I'm they seeing have it. A nine millimeter variant mm. that just came out, and it's a little double stack. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, they're getting on board. That's good. Yeah. You were talking about the Kimber, so it basically looks exactly like this, just in that size. Correct. <laughs> Literally, it looks uh, just all, all like this. All sorts of different finishes and yeah. stuff like that, like Kimber normally does. Yeah, you so, could do all black, yeah. like all, you know, you could all customize it. Stuff. But yeah, these so, are really yes. great. Yeah. So super accurate. I love the 1911. It shoots really nicely, mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'm a big fan. So. Yeah. Um, comes in all different calibers. So definitely check out the website and come into the shop. Yeah. Check them out. Yep, yep. Cool. All right. Well, if you're just joining us, rewind and <laughs> rewatch yeah, the rest re of the show. for about 49 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we we're talking about 1911s, uh, but thank you for watching Tactical Talk with Mad mm -hmm. Dog Armory. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Jillian. I'm not Shad. No. I'm Jillian. <laughs> I'm Shad. And that's Shad. Um, and and I'm Oh boy. We're very happy. Sorry, Jen. We'll have to talk to We're you very yeah. happy to be joining you today. Um, definitely follow us on social media, um, YouTube, and all that good stuff. Share, like, yeah. subscribe, all that good stuff. Yep. Um, we are very passionate about the Second Amendment, and we love to pass this information along to you. Mm -hmm. So definitely um, do all that stuff I just yeah. said so mm -hmm. you can support us and we can spread the word. Um, all right, so I wanted to just touch base real quick on the store raffle that we're having as well. Oh, did I mention that? We did not. Okay, I wasn't sure if I mentioned it earlier yep. or not because sometimes I go out of order. Mm -hmm. So um, if you are local to the Tampa Bay area, definitely going to want to stop into our South Tampa location because mm -hmm. we're doing a raffle, mm -hmm. um, and you can win an AR-15. Yep. Um, it is a Black Rain Ordinance. Yep. The model is a Bro, B-R-O, -O, yep. 15. So B Bro 15. Billet upper and lower, mm -hmm. uh, OD green. It's a really nice firearm. Yes. Really nice firearm. 
Yep. So. Um, our new manager, Freddie, he's fantastic in mm -hmm. our South Tampa location. Um, fantastic Freddie. Fant fantastic Freddie. Oh, boy. Oh, Freddie. Okay, I'm going to change his name <laughs> in my phone to Fantastic Freddie. Um, he's fantastic. Um, stop by and say hi. But he came up with this idea mm -hmm. um, to raffle off a gun, and I thought that was amazing. He's yeah. like, I just want to engage customers more. And so he's, yeah. he's really good at that. And yeah. we were all about it. We're like, let's do it. So yeah. um, you can... Raffle, get it, get into the raffle. It's ten dollars. Ten dollars a ticket. A ticket, and we're only doing two hundred tickets. Right, and then so. as soon as the two hundredth ticket is sold, um, that next tactical talk show that we do, we're going to announce the winner right here That's for correct. you. We're going to draw the winner and announce the winner. Correct. So we'll do that for you as soon as the. As soon as we sell 200 tickets. Last ticket is sold, and they're That's doing right. really well. It's only mm -hmm. been a couple of days. Um, so get in for your chance, for sure. Sure enough. And uh, it's a really great gun. We own a Black Rain. We yes, own a couple. We do. Yes. Yeah. And we I, own the an white. AR 10, mm -hmm. and we own uh, AR 15. Yes. Big fan of, of Black Rain. They yeah. have very nice products. Very good products. Um, yep. And the white one that we've brought on mm -hmm. a couple of times, the, the AR. Trooper looking little guy the, that you like. Yep. yep. That's Black Rain. That's mm -hmm. the manufacturer. Sure um, so if you want to do a little research, um, Black Rain. Ordinance is the manufacturer. Bro, Bro 15 is the yep. model in OD Green, and our South Tampa location is doing the raffle. Yeah, so we're very excited about that. So check that yes. out. Um, all right. So I guess we're ready for the new segments. If you're ready, you tell me. Sure. What do you think? Should we do it? I guess. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go to our new segment, which is new shit with Shad, and we're ready. Roll it. Nineteen eleven. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Yes, it's new shit with Shad. Yes. So we talked about the Browning High Power, mm -hmm. and in doing so, there are a couple manufacturers recently that announced uh, basically new variants of the Browning High Power. FN. So it's the FN High Power, which is on your screen right here. Mm -hmm. um, we have not seen any in the shop yet, but again, this is something that's very, very new. Um, but sharp as hell looking gun. I mean, really FN, sharp looking. Yep, FN did a really, really nice job on it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, Not a typical looking FN at all. No, no. Really yep. different. Yep. Most of their stuff is going to be the polymer stuff. They make the SCAR, they make the uh, PS90, mm -hmm. um, your mm -hmm. FNX45 Tactical, which we have that. Mm -hmm. um, their 509s, mm -hmm. um, lots of nice guns. They do make some nice guns, but this is definitely uh, not your typical. Um, 4.7 inch barrel, nine millimeter, you know, safety. I mean, it's, it's, it's a high power, mm -hmm. but it's their version of the high power. Looks phenomenal. Can't wait to get some in the shop. We will Very probably cool. end up with one of those mm -hmm. ourselves. Just um, what we need. Yeah. <laughs> What's one more at this point? <laughs> um, and then we also have Springfield Armory. Yes. Who came out with their SA35, which nice. again is basically a Browning high power. Nice looking. <laughs> Very nice looking. So, um, Again, I'm a, I'm a big Springfield fan, um, but I think I like the FN just a smidge better as mm. far as... Now, I can't wait Furniture. to put it in my hands. Sure. want to put it in my hands and kind of feel it, touch it, uh, feel the lockup, all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the SA35, very basic sights on it, right? Fixed sights. Um, I think the FN, might their sight picture might be a little bit better, but... Um, we have nice. Several special orders for this already, people looking for this guy. Um, I think we actually just got one in the shop. One. Mm -hmm. um, already spoken for. Gotcha. Um, it went to a gentleman over in our Tampa location, and then we have somebody, two more people waiting there, and three more people in the Largo location waiting for those suckers to come in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. Well, there you go. Anything else for new shit with Shad? That's pretty much right now in regards to kind of what we're talking about. There is kind of some new stuff that's been trickling out, but nothing of any like, oh my God, mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, um, yeah. yeah. Very Today, cool. that's it. Today, that's it. That's it. We, um, we definitely weren't sure if we were going to be able to film today because of my yes. voice. Correct. So, um, we kind of like thought, okay, we're, we're sitting there looking in our safe like we do every week. Like, what are we going to talk about this week? And, um right on the wall of our safe, you know, not the wall, the, the, the door. door, thank mm -hmm. you, on the inside of the door is where I keep the 1911s and, and yeah. the pan, no, the Pantera is not in the door, I don't no. think, but the 1911s, they're all sitting up there and he started grabbing something else and I was like, you know what? 
let's talk 1911s today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so definitely wanted to um, touch on these, tell you a little bit about them, yep. um, because a lot of times people don't know what a 1911 is. I didn't Correct. even know what a 2011 was. I've heard it before, but it just sounded weird. And I'm like, what's yep. a 2011? Not even and, realizing and again, we had it, it one looks, in looks the safe. very, very, very similar. Yeah. It just so. Yeah. yeah, but I can tell even by looking at that, that mm -hmm. that looks more competition to me mm -hmm. than the Browning. Correct. Is that more? It, yeah, the Browning was designed more, again, it was designed a long time ago. Yeah. So again, it was more of a um, military style, you know, when Browning was creating that. Mm -hmm. This particular gun was really, really created for competition, the 2011. Yeah. So, and for John Wick. Right, and John Wick. <laughs> I mean, anything he uses can't be bad, right? Because he's such a badass. That's right. Um, well, if there's any of these that you like and that you want us to get for you, um, mm -hmm. please reach out. Let us know. Stop in the shops. Um, we'd be more than happy to, if it's something that the new shit with Shad, um, mm -hmm. that we're getting in slowly as they're coming in, they're coming available. you got to get on our list yeah. um, so we can get you that next one. Like Shad said, there's one that came in. Somebody was on that list. You're the first one that's going to get the first one. Um, that if comes you give in. us money, you're at the top of the list. Of course. So <laughs> yes. Just saying. So he did. He did give us some money down on the gun. Other so he jumped just, ahead. <laughs> well, actually, he was the oldest one on there. He was, was he? the oldest one, and he gave us some money. So okay. that was that. But, yeah. yeah, because supply chain issues and things, you know, are still happening. So yeah. um, definitely, let us know what you're looking for, and we'll look yeah. out for it. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us with Tactical Talk, and we will see you next Friday at six. Have yeah. a great weekend. Bye. And bye. <laughs>